What I really want y'all to know is that you can do whatever it is that you desire to do. If you can overcome nursing school, the NCLEX, baby, you are designed, you are built for so much greater than just what nursing can offer. <music>
the head nurse of this group home okay so there are different things that you can do as a home health nurse to make extra money now to get deeper into the home health field you can also start a home health care agency okay and with that you're going to look at your local medicaid medicare provider and your state is going to tell you the appropriate requirements to do that Okay, a lot of people do not realize that they can go to, okay, say Missouri um, Medicaid division or something like that. I don't know. The, I don't know. it. I don't know. The, I, don't, I don't know the website. But if you go to Missouri Medicaid, they are going to tell you what it takes to open up a home health agency. Or maybe you want to open up an adult daycare or a transportation company, or you may want to work. Just something like that, you're going to look at your local Medicaid, Medicare services. That way you can get directly reimbursed through Medicaid and you won't have to worry about the middleman. I will tell you, it is a little bit more to do more responsibilities to have and more money to make when you decide to own these type of businesses. But I want you to know that there is a certain process, there are certain requirements, and there are certain things that you will need to have in place in order to open a home health agency. Like you may need an RN to be in charge. As an LPN, we cannot be the sole person of the home health agency. So in that case, you will need an RN. Okay, so you want to make sure you're doing the proper research, but home health care um, is an opportunity for you to have a side hustle or make some extra money or get to a big bag. Okay, a big bag. Also, in certain states, they do independent provider. So as an independent provider, you will look on the Medicaid website um, and you will have a list of different patients that you can go see. And that way you're independent, like an independent contractor. You don't have to worry about an agency model. You don't have to worry about reporting to anybody except for your RN supervisor. Because as the LPN, we know that we have to have an RN supervisor above us when we are working in these settings. So that is an option too, if you are wanting to still make some money, um, some extra money in the healthcare area, and that way you still feel like you're still a part of the healthcare scene. So the next thing that I wanna talk to you guys about that you can do to make some extra money, be a clinical instructor, be a nurse that is actually teaching a certain subject in school. You can be a nurse that is a resource nurse or the person that knows how to do certain things so people come to them when they need it, okay? But as an LPN and an RN, you can be a nurse instructor. We wanna take it a step further in some states start a CPR and first aid school, and that will be an extra stream of money and also a very good business model. You can also maybe do something like a mobile CPR service, a first aid service, or something like that, where you're actually instructing CNAs to do something um, that you feel is beneficial, okay? Another thing that I wanna tell you that you can do as a nurse, is you can be a traveling phlebotomist, okay? You can still be a phlebotomist as an LPN and as an RN. Sometimes we forget that we can go down a little bit in order to make more money and to get more money out of situations. So as an LPN, yes, you can work as a phlebotomist and you can also work as an agency phlebotomist, a travel phlebotomist. Don't forget that they have these things just as well as travel and agency nursing, okay? And lastly, the last thing that I really want to touch on is being a nurse influencer, okay? Starting a nurse YouTube channel like this one, <laughs> Nurse Bay. This is going to be your way of creating your own community. Now, I wanted to leave this last because so many people doubt themselves. You know, so many people count themselves out. And just because you're watching me today, just because you see me on here teaching and being so fearless, you think that maybe you can't do it either. And I'm here to tell you, being a nurse influencer is one of those side hustles that is going to give you a lot of satisfaction. 
okay? Being a nurse influencer is going to give you a different level of consistency and compatibility that nursing school really didn't give you because you have to think. All the millennials, all the Gen Zs, all of us that are in this age group, okay? In the group of 25 to 35. We all are on social media. We all are on TikTok. We all are on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, all of these different things. And if you could create a small or big community as a nurse leader, as a nurse influencer, talking about any subject in nursing that you desire, you will continue to be a leader you will continue to be a thought leader in the space where we need more people that are professional we need more leaders that are helping our women and men get to a different level of elite i don't know i don't know what else words to say you know i mean it's a lot of stuff that um, you know, we may not be learning in our households. We may not be learning in school. We may not be learning in the streets or wherever you came from. Wherever you came from, they may not know what to do or where to go or how to do it. Okay? Even if you're not a nurse, even as a CNA, even as a nurse practitioner, even as anything that you are at this moment, if you have ever gotten yourself results, you owe it to yourself to help somebody else give results. The reason why I continue to show up on YouTube is because I used to be the person that felt like I had nobody to talk to. When I was going through all of these things that I have been going through, I have been my own companion a lot of the times. I've pushed myself through nursing school and I've fought and I've cried and I've, and I've fallen and I've failed. And it was in those times where I didn't have nobody around me that made me think to create my own community, to create my own influence, my own impact. So if you watch this video to the end, I really want you to think of yourself as an influencer. Think of yourself as impactful. Think of yourself as capable of doing anything you desire to do for money and not. Sometimes we get caught up in these different spaces and places, but what I really want y'all to know is that you can do whatever it is that you desire to do. And if you can overcome nursing school, the NCLEX, baby, you are designed, you are built for so much greater than just what nursing can offer. I think that it's up to us all in healthcare to, to continue to, you know, be in different spaces and expand our horizons. Because as nurses, we are healing and taking care of a nation, a nation of people. You know, so being a nurse influencer is not only impactful, it's going to be something that's going to be influential in your life. You know, it's so many things that you can do when you are in the social media space as far as digital products, brand deals, sponsorships, pay promo, okay? Then we also, if you want to go deeper into it, you have social media marketing, virtual assistant. It's different things and services that you can offer as a nurse, as a nurse influencer. So once you build that community, and I'm not talking about a big community. I'm not talking about 100,000 subscribers. I'm talking about a close knit of people that really rock with you. It could be in any space, in any setting, because you're going to need that when it's time for you to push yourself. You're going to need that when you don't feel motivated. You're going to need that when you have that bad day at work. You know, so you having or creating something for yourself is going to give you that boost. It's going to give you that joy in your life that maybe you haven't felt it yet. Maybe you've been out of nursing school for a year or two and you still have not figured out how to spark the fire or spark the flame. And I'm here to tell you that it may be within something that is going to be so passionate for you that's going to fuel your purpose. You know, you becoming a nurse is only one piece of the puzzle. I really want you guys to not stop there. Continue to grow, continue to learn, continue to expand. If you have a community, even if it's not online, 
Your our inner city communities, our, our communities around us are very much impacted by who we are as nurses. And because you are here and you're here with me, I know that your purpose is so much bigger than anybody can believe. So with that being said, all of the information that I've offered y'all today, I really want y'all to take the time and do your own research. Take the time to write things down. Take the time to dream a little bit harder and think a little bit deeper because it's always there for you. It's always there for us. And sometimes we can't see it. Sometimes we can't hear it. Sometimes we can't feel it because we have so much of the world in our mind and so much of the world just that's, that's filling your mind up, that's filling your thoughts up this video with somebody that you know today that's a nurse or a cna that don't know what to do next if all else fails go do something else if you still have breath in your body and you still are able to wake up and do stuff with energy and love then it's up to you to find your purpose your purpose has people your purpose has people attached to the thing it is exactly that you desire the thing that it is you you want is there for you, is waiting for you. This video, you saw it because you're ready for that next step. You're ready for that next level. So go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel if you never have. And comment below any more videos that y'all want to see. I got a list of topics that I really can't wait to get out for y'all. And I'm so excited for y'all to hear and see what I've been working on. If you have any particular questions or concerns that you want to address with Melody, my email is listed below. And check out last week's video because of some of y'all I know are still in nursing school. Some of y'all just got out. Some of y'all just getting in. I'm going to link it below. And I know this video is going to help you on your next season. So until next time, bye you guys. Love you.